Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Creality K2 Plus extruder. One of these extruders is the OG extruder, and one of these extruders is the revised extruder. I'm going to show you how to visually identify between the new one and the old one. I'm here with the OG Creality K2 Plus extruder and the newly revised K2 Plus extruder. There are, in fact, visual cues to help you identify the newly revised K2 Plus extruder versus the OG K2 Plus extruder. Let's start right here in the front. You will notice this coupler sits deeply into the K2 Plus extruder housing with minimal visible protrusion. Here on the new model, you'll notice the coupler sits higher on the extruder body with more of it visible. Looking toward the side of the K2 Plus extruder, you will see the screws are tapped into the housing of the extruder. Here on the new model, you will see they have installed threaded inserts. You now have three threaded inserts versus one. Looking to the reverse side, you will see this one tapped screw hole into the plastic. Whereas in the new model, you will see they have installed a threaded insert. One potential bonus method to identify the two is the OG bearing. You can clearly see green dots on the bearing surface. On the new model, there are no markings whatsoever on the bearing. Is this something that is done randomly or is this a permanent change? I can't say for sure, but it stands out quite clearly when comparing the two. Green dots, no green dots. And there you have it, three ways to identify the newly revised K2 Plus extruder versus the original K2 Plus extruder. Let me know which model you're running in the comments. I'm Mr. Greg. This is the revised K2 Plus extruder, and you're on 3D Rundown.